Hey guys, Kakarot197 again, and the first thing I want to say is a very happy new year, because this video is time to go live at exactly 12 o'clock midnight Belgian time, so at the moment you're watching this, it is 2021 in Belgium. 2020 has been one hell of a year that we kind of want to forget about for a lot of reasons, but... At the same time, we cannot forget about all of the good things 2020 has given us, and that's what I want to talk about today. Because 2020 wasn't all bad. The first really amazing thing that happened this year was definitely for me reaching 50,000 subscribers, which was something I did not expect at the beginning of the year. I was at like 20,000 something, like 20 going to 30,000, I believe, um, but I was definitely looking at how my subscribers evolved in the past, I was nowhere near 50,000. So things, the channel has been evolving tremendously this year. The growth has been really surprising. And I would just, I just want to thank every single one of you watching, every single one of you is subscribed. And perhaps even some of you who are watching who are not subscribed, who just haven't realized that they're not subscribed yet. So a big thank you to all of you, whether you're old, new, or like I said, even if you're watching this and you have no idea that you're not subscribed yet, because that's actually something that I've noticed myself. Like I got a comment from someone saying that, oh, I didn't realize I was subscribed, that I wasn't subscribed to you, even though I watch like a lot of your videos. I've had that too with channels that I thought I was subscribed to. And like I watch like almost all their videos and then I notice, oh, and that's just really the way YouTube is nowadays because of the way that their homepage works and the way that they, they really suggest you things based on what you watch as opposed to what you're subscribed to. So I definitely noticed that myself too. Um, so yeah, this year was, depending on which statistics you're looking at, this year wasn't just, well, last year wasn't just better than all other previous years, but depending on the statistic, it was better than all previous years combined. Like this year, the growth, last year, the growth has been enormous. Again, I can't thank you guys enough for that. Like I've been putting a lot of effort into YouTube this year, so it's really great to see that it has paid off. Um, so uh, this year, another thing that I was also able to do was getting kind of into a sustainable rhythm. In the previous year, years all of the time um, my uploads have been kind of I upload when I can sometimes it was a lot of uploads sometimes the uploads were a bit more scarce um, because of like university and whatnot exams and stuff so I was more uploading whenever I could um, as opposed to now I do actually have a schedule I'm even making my own schedules now to make sure that I at least try to stick to them um, it doesn't always work out, which is something you can definitely notice uh, when I upload my unboxings and I end them with, I'll see you all tomorrow with a review of this thing, which mm, I don't even know statistically how much of the time I actually stick to that. I try to stick to it, but it just doesn't always work out. That's something I will try to work on next year. And another thing that happened this year was a new series, Question of the Week, turned out really well had to stop it for a little bit because I just didn't have the time and I had to choose what I wanted to continue with. Um, but I brought it back and it's definitely going to continue being released going forward. Like after I stop filming this video, I'm going to be filming the next question of the week. So um, that's definitely something that's staying. Um, oh yeah, this year also launched the What If series. I've seen some comments that made me think some of you guys might have thought I forgot about the What If series, but it is actually part of the planning. Um, I do need to do my research and I could release them weekly, but then that would come at the cost of other things. And unfortunately time is as always my big enemy. So that's that. Then for my plans for 21, for my plans for 2021, um, as I said before, uh, sticking a bit better to my schedule, mostly with the unboxings and the reviews, like having the reviews follow the unboxings. Um, another thing that I'm planning to do is 
kind of rebooting Gumpla Watch. Some of you might remember this. I did it a long time ago. Um, Stop doing that. I did it for quite a while, I think. Um, but yeah, I tried. I'm gonna try to relaunch that more as an overall Gundam news segment as opposed to just Gumpla, because as you've probably noticed, this channel has really gone from more of a Gumpla center channel to really a Gundam channel. So that's why I think it's appropriate to do a new segment of like more Gundam in general. Um, I'm thinking about naming it This Week in Gundam, which is, I know, a very creative name. <laughs> so I'm definitely taking suggestions in the comments. Also just what to think about it. Then the third plan is to go on a trip to Japan this year when or if that is possible because of the reasons that we all know about, unfortunately. Um, this will not only be a vacation, but it will also be kind of a business trip thingy because I do plan to record some videos there. Um, so that's also something, um, definitely leave suggestions down below what you would want to see me do when I'm in Japan, like what kind of videos you would want to see. Um, I'm thinking definitely about visiting some stores, of course, asking permission to film there and perhaps, just like some silly food videos or and whatnot, because hey, maybe I should reboot Otaku Snack while I'm at it, because well, I've been doing a lot of new stuff and rebooting old stuff as well. And then the final thing I have planned for this year um, is doing some community polls just to ask about things that you maybe want to see improved or a little bit changed, because some of the things um, I feel like I could use a little bit of feedback on. Like one thing in particular that I've been thinking about is, um, you know that little segment of thanking the sponsors in the beginning? <laughs> Which was, you know, a thing from back in the day when we had to watch fans of anime and that was something that was always in there. So I just thought that was a really funny thing to have in there, but I just want to make sure that we're all on the same line here, that everyone still thinks that's funny or if it would be better to just leave that out because it's not like a legal requirement for me to have that specific thing in there as long as I tell you guys that this is sponsored by that's all I have to do legally. It was just a funny thing that I thought was kind of cute at the time. So um, look forward to having some community polls because also one thing I noticed is community polls do get a lot of feedback. I get like 4,000 votes, typically like three to 4,000 votes. So that does give me a good idea of what the really active viewers want from the videos. Anyways, um, that is all for this new year. I want to say new loot fee. <laughs> So that's all for this New Year's video. Um, I'm going to be working on my question of the week video, which will be releasing according to my schedule on Saturday. I will see you all on Saturday and again, have a very happy new year. As always, a big thank you to the Patreon supporters. I hope everyone watching has a great day and a happy new year again. And I'll see you all next time.